What's good, everyone? Welcome to the Man of Dorks podcast. I'm Mike. And I'm Nick. Today we are not doing a podcast. We are opening a brand new box of Commander Legends. Nick, what are we looking for in this box? Foil Soul Ring. Foil Soul Ring. Yeah, I'd love to see one of those. Jeweled Lotus, foil or unfoil. Oh, I'll yeah. take either. Either way. Vampiric Tutors in here. I'm looking to see like a Hull Breacher or Opposition Agent. Um, any of the new legends that have been spoiled, obviously. I'd love to get an etched foil of something. That'd be cool. Because those look beautiful. But either way, I can't wait to dig into this <laughs> Stop box. Stop talking. Let's go. Up. Here we go. All right. Got my knife. Cut it open. Don't cut the box. Something like that is not going to work. There it is. Probably just slice it. You brought the knife so you open. wouldn't be stumbling around during the show. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here we go. Box oh my. Open. Oh yeah. There's a. All right. So, yeah, since this is for draft, we have um, a basic card on how to draft, basically. Um, even a whole section on the Prismatic Piper. That's pretty cool. How to build your deck and draft archetypes. So, it gives you um, all of the two colors, uh, two color combos, and what they're best at in this set. But I don't think we need this. Garbage. So, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> All right, let's start. Nick's going to open a pack. I'm going to open a pack. All Nick, right, go first. Go. This is so exciting. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> the nerves. All right, give me a minute. We'll open from the bottom. That worked better. Okay. We got a handy trash can under the table. Cool. All right, skipping the commons. We'll talk about the uncommons. All right. We have Faith's Fetters, Angelic Armaments, Ooh. Arcane Signet. Very nice. Cool. Staff of Domination Very is nice. our rare. We were looking for that one. That's beautiful. And then I have Abomination of Lana War, Prava of the Steel Legion, and then a sparkly foil oh. Thallus Reverent Medium. Look at how Beautiful. amazing that card looks. Those look nice together. I've never seen a foil like that. Oh, that's the etched foil. The etched. Let's keep those up there. That's incredible. All right. I'll I love these it. these aside. Your All right. Turn. My turn. All right. Again, skipping through uncommon or just the commons. Goodbye, unless we find anything we love. Not necessarily. Okay. So, Scholar for the Ages, Three Visits. That's a great uncommon uh, reprint from Portal Three Kingdoms. And we have a Root Weaver Druid. Our first legendary is Emoti, Celebrant of the Bounty, which gives your uh, big spells Cascade. Then Arden, Intrepid Archaeologist. And a shiny, look at this, a shiny Xur wow. the Enchanter. Wow, two etched foils so far. Those are gorgeous. And a Monarch token. We'll take that. Wow. All right. Uh, Nick, while you open your next pack, I'm going to take some time to get situated. Okay. So far, so good. <laughs> yeah. This looks good to me. All right. We got some commons going away. We'll look through those later. Don't you worry. We're big proponents of commons, as oh. you know. Yeah, we'll All find right. some good common goods in here. So, uncommons, we got Coastline Marauders, uh, we got Ordeal of Nylea, we have Volcanic Torrent, and our rare, Undergrowth Stadium. Nice. Okay. Rare lands are always useful. Yeah. Especially these ones, because you play Commander, it's a multiplayer format, and it enters oh, yeah. untapped if you have two or more opponents. That's pretty sweet. Very cool. Uh, we have Armix Filigree Thrasher, um, here's another rare, Ooh. rare legendary, Averna the Chaos Bloom. Oh. And then we have a foil bio waste blob. Foil rare. That's pretty cool. And then uh, another monarch token. Great. So this is the one that allows you, Averna is the one that lets you put lands into play as you cascade. So that's also pretty nice. Awesome. All right, get your cards out of here. My turn. All right, all right. All right, again. Goodbye. Nothing extravagant in here. Classic Terramorphic Expanse, and here we go. Interpret the Signs, Sifter Worm, Oh Shimmer Mirror, which was printed down to Uncommon. 
That's pretty good. And Jessica's Will. Choose one if you control a commander. You, as you cast it, you may choose both. Add red for each card in target opponent's hand, or exile the top three cards of your library, and you may play them this turn. Pretty good for a red. That's basically red's card draw. So wow. that's our rare. And then we have Numa, Joraga, Chieftain, and Miara, Thorn of the Glade. Two elves in this pack. So if we were drafting this, I would take um, both of those. Yeah. Oh, I saw this. I saw this Ooh. uncommon. <laughs> I saw an uncommon artifact foil. Thought it would be a soul ring. Just a lore seeker stone, but it still looks awesome. Looks beautiful. Absolutely. And a spirit wow. token. Magic's cool. really going off with these. Seriously. That's All right, amazing. I'll take these from you. All right, pack me. Great. Okay, okay. Haven't seen a mythic yet, right? Um, no. Well, that's good for us. Because they're all in the bottom. <laughs> all 20 of them. They're all going to be the ones that you get. Oh, actually, Zer the Enchanter was a mythic. Oh, was it? Yeah. Okay, okay. Got some stuff in here. More stuff. There is a mana dork for yes, you. Yes, beautiful. We'll keep that out here. All right. All right, so we have Return to Dust, Vow of Torment, Cast Down, and then we have Wheel of Misfortune for our rare. Ooh, okay. We also have Glacian Power Stone Engineer, Kangji, Sky Warden, <laughs> and then a Foil Fall from flav Favor. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, well, look at the art on this card. Wow. This next, sorry. The uh, Prismatic Piper. Love that. That's I pulled, awesome. I just bought a couple booster packs of this and I pulled a Foil Prismatic Piper. Oh, yeah. And the swirl that's in there just looks amazing. That's awesome. Yeah, it's so cool. All right, you can take these. We'll keep the Findhorn Elves up here yeah, as our definitely. mascot mana dork. All right. These packs feel a little different to open because there's now They're 20 so cards. Big. Yeah. 20 cards is a lot to hold in your hand. But when you draft, you do only pick two. Um, all right. So our uncommons make a stand, burnished heart, classic in... Uh, Commander, Noxious Dragon, and another one of those lands, Rejuvenating Springs. Enters tapped unless you have two or more opponents and you add green or blue. Then we have Jury, Master of the Review. Put that out here. Torma the Desecrator, and a Foil Scholar of Stars. That looks nice too. These foils are really beautiful. Wow. We've got there's, one every pack so far. There's, Yeah, that's sweet. There's stars in the background of this one and they're foiled as well. Yeah, that's Check awesome. That Cool, and a Monarch token. All, All right. right, I'll get these get out, out of your here. way. Give me a pack while you're scooping. Because half of this video is going to be us opening the packs, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> All right, land. Oh, this is a tough one, so there has to be something good in here. What's it going to be? Vampire Tutor. Really? That's my guess. Okay. Not uh, Black Lotus 2.0? No. All right. Let's see here. All right, so starting us off, we have Thirst for Knowledge, we have Make a Stand, Demonic Lore, and then our rare is Flamekin Herald. Oh. Commander spells you cast have Cascade. That's pretty cool. That's actually really cool. That's very cool. <laughs> Run an eight drop commander. Yeah. Uh, so right here we have Malcolm, Keen Eyed Navigator. Nadir, Ancient of the du Duskanel. Oh. Uh, and then we have a foil Elvish Doomsayer. Oh, when it dies, each opponent discards. Ooh. Man. They, they really went all out for um, elves in black. Yeah. Because they're making that a very... They're uh, like dark elves. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They all have to do with discard or um, dealing damage to your opponents. But I like it. I love it because you want to have more than one color when you're running elves. Like, yeah, you don't, normally it's green white. Yeah, you could time. do a Riz, something like that with tokens, but I want um, black green elves because I love Golgari. All right. A murder. We love murder. Well, <laughs> we love the card <laughs> murder. Let me just make that clear. Um, going through. Sisse's ring is cool. All right, here is our uncommons. Furnace Celebration, Grafted War Gear. I've actually been looking for one of those. That's pretty cool. Imperious Perfect and Amphin Mutineer. 
When it enters the battlefield, exile up to one target non-salamander creature. That creature's controller creates a 4-3 salamander creature token. It also has Encore, and it's a 3-3. That's pretty neat. You're going to build a salamander deck? Maybe. <laughs> How cool would that Sorry. be? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Falthus, Shadow Cat. Ooh, a rare Kodama of the East Tree. Cool. And our foil Hello. is Breach's Brazen Plunderer. A legendary goblin pirate with menace. Whenever one or more pirates you control deals damage to your opponents, exile the top card of each of those opponents' libraries. You may cast those, or you may play those cards, and you may spend mana as though it were mana of any color to cast those spells. That's pretty neat. And a treasure token. Good thing to go with the pirates. Awesome. Great pack. I love that Kodama. Cool. Oh, I'll sorry, you gotta reach. Here, <laughs> here I'll, I'll grab a little stack so you don't have to keep handling it. Sounds good. Me. How many did you get? I don't know. Okay. I'll grab a stack. Mm -hmm. Should play the, the Jeopardy music in between <laughs> each of these. All right. Seen a lot of the same commons. There's another L. Yeah, maybe we'll get a play set. We'll keep them up here. We could get four of them. Yeah. All right, so we have Pen and Blade, Monstrous Onslaught, Slaughter the Strong. Oh, cool. Our rare is Laboratory Drudge. Oh. At the beginning of each end step, draw a card if you cast a spell from your graveyard or activated an ability of a card in your graveyard this turn. That's pretty cool. And it's a zombie. We have Thelis. Oh, but not Reverend the foil medium. one. Sorry. We got the foil one earlier, so that one just looks oh, mediocre. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. But is this mediocre? We have a mythic Ooh, Kamal, sweet. Heart of Krosa. Beautiful. And then a foil, Raise the Alarm. Oh, I play Raise the Alarm in one of my popper decks. And a rock token. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. All right. Even though there's not a lot of money coming out of these packs yet. Um, they look cool. Look cool, and we're still getting a ton of <laughs> uh, value from it. All right, here we go. So I know this set hasn't been out for too, too long, but we've had the spoilers for a while. What? Show that to the camera. Nope, you gotta hold it down here. <laughs> I just opened. What the heck? Check this out, a backwards card in here. And then I have oh, an upside down card as well. Well, what's the backwards card? Squad uh, captain. Yeah, backwards. I don't know about that one. All right, this is a little strange, but I'm glad we caught it on camera. Still going, nothing else is looking too funky. Maybe it means there's a mythic in here. All right. So Our... if this video is taken down in, in a couple hours after being posted, you know why. We saw too much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Warden of Evos Isle, Vow of Duty, Revenant, and our rare is Court of Bounty. Pretty cool. When it mm. enters the battlefield, you become the monarch. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. If you're the monarch, instead, you may put a creature or land from your hand onto the battlefield. Whoa. That's pretty sweet, especially in green. Monarch is huge in this Yeah, set. I think monarch should be played in every commander deck. Uh, we have Araumi of the Dead Tide and Anara, Wolvid Familiar. That's pretty cool. Wolf Beast. And then a foil champion of the flame. Look at all that stuff. Awesome. Looks good. Oh, and a salamander token. Nice. Cool, for, for my salamander, salamander deck. Cool. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen. The coolest thing you've ever seen? Yeah, a salamander token? Look, look how sick that it is. It does look pretty cool. I'll give All you right. that. Okay, okay. <clears throat> These packs, they don't make it easy. Because they're so big. Yeah. Okay. Skip the commons. All right. Ooh, this is a reprint from Ixalan, Lightning Rig Crew. Oh, nice. Uh, we have Horizon Scholar, Guideless Commons, another Mythic. Ooh. How do you say that word, Mike? Seraphic, Seraphic Great, Great Sword. Sword. All right. There's another uh, Halana. Okay. Uh, Tago. Oh, to go with your rock token. Yeah, Tago to go with your rock token. <laughs> um, and then wild size as a foil. Oh, that looks that nice. That does look really cool. I love the foils when the background of the art is foiled, and yeah. then they leave the art. Oh, except for the eyes. Wow, that's cool. Buy a foil wild size, 
because that looks beautiful. I've been putting my commons in my, my rare pile. That's okay. We'll go through the piles afterwards. All we <laughs> care about is opening. Opening these packs. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. All right. So what is that? Two mythics now, but they've both been in either the foil or the legendary spot. So we haven't... And then they've both been in my packs. <laughs> I, I, I'm glad we're not keeping track of that. Yeah. Oh, Command Tower. Love it. Classic. All right. We have Volcanic Dragon, Daring Saboteur, which is downprinted or downshifted to uncommon from rare, Pride of the Perfect, and Zot's Will. Choose one. If you control a commander, as you cast a spell, you may choose both. Each opponent sacrifices a creature they control with the greatest power, or exile all cards from all opponent's graveyards, then create X-01 black thrall creature tokens, where X is the greatest power among creature cards exiled this way. That's pretty sweet. That's awesome. It is five to do that, though. I don't know if I would pay five mana to do, uh, to do that. We have Keskit the Flesh Sculptor. Ooh, Ghost of Ramirez de Petro. That's really sweet. And a Foil Workshop Assistant, which looks very off-centered. I'm not sure if you can tell. It looks like there's yeah, just a little... Yeah, it does look kind of funky. There's a lot of um, black border around that. But we'll take it. We love foils. All right. Let's crack another pack, shall we? Got some commons expected. There's another Terramorphic Expanse. Classic. All right. So we have Fencing Ace. We have Victimize. Oh, nice card. Lore Seeker's Stone. Our rare is Keeper of the Accord. Oh, cool. And look at this. Two more rares in a row. Oh, nice. Lisa Shroud of Dusk and Belby Corrupted oh, cool. Observer. And then we have a foil. Lemon Grid Gargoyle. Very nice. Um, and an Elf Warrior token. Look at cool. how cool that looks. I'm going to read Keeper of the Accord. It's three and a white for a 3-4 human soldier. The beginning of each opponent's end step, if that player controls more creatures than you, create a 1-1 one, one white soldier creature token. At the beginning of each opponent's end step, so same text, if that player controls more lands than you, you may search for a planes and put it onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. That's white mana ramp. It, it's... It's here. It's yeah, time. finally. <laughs> we saw black get some, kind of break the color pie by getting some enchantment removal. Right. Now we're seeing white get a little bit more ramp. I will say that this ramp is um, dependent on what your opponents have. You know, if, right. if you're in green, white, and you're ramping a ton, then that's not something you would put in that deck because you're not going to have right. fewer lands. But if you're playing like Boros, and you're, you're rarely ever going to have more lands <laughs> than someone else. So. Right. All right. Awesome. Let me, get, let me get these out of your way here. Thank you. All right. I'm still thinking about that upside down and backwards card. Yeah. I'm glad that we uh, caught that on camera. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Here is a common good core cartographer. There's the other white ramp. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let me get this out of here. Here we go with our uncommons. First response, Mask of Memory. That's pretty sweet. Um, patron of the Valiant, and another Mythic, Commander's Plate. That's pretty cool. Equipped creature gets plus three, plus three, and has protection from each color that's not in your Commander's color identity. Awesome. You can equip for five, or you can equip a Commander for three. I like that a lot. I'm going to keep that out here. We have Kedis Emberclaw Familiar, which is a cute little elemental lizard. Whenever a Commander you control deals combat damage to an opponent, it deals that much damage to each other opponent. That's also very cool, kind of like the Myriad mechanic, where if you swing at one opponent, it makes copies and swings at all the other ones, but uh, it just does damage in this case. Then we have Rebecca, Architect of Ascension, and a foil Ivy Lane Denizen, followed by our friend, the Prismatic Piper, and a copy token. I think that I heard... That's awesome. Yeah, the foiling looks so good in this. I, I'd watched a couple videos of people opening these packs, and I was like, that foiling looks really dark. Yeah. Like, I, am I, I'm not excited to get my box and the have The camera doesn't foils. do it justice. That's true. you got to see it in person. I'm going to pull those out. Yeah, that's fine. All right, go ahead. All righty. Oh, man, I lost my, my pack hands. <laughs> it's been a while since I've opened a booster box. 
The last one we opened was Double Masters. That was got a pretty some, good box. Yeah, we got some good stuff in yeah, there. Yeah, we did. <clears throat> All right, we have a Burnished Heart. Very nice. A Vow of Lightning and a Scaled Behemoth. Mm -hmm. Rare Land is Vault Boy. of Champions. We're going to get all five of these lands, yeah. it seems like. Uh, Taya Bear Claw. Okay. There's Nevin Rall Ubor. Ooh, ooh. Excuse me. <laughs> Urborg Tyrant. Uborg. And then uh, this little fox looking guy. Oh, cool. Filigree Familiar. There's awesome. the Prismatic Piper. Wow. Again. Another one. And a zombie token. I think I heard that Prismatic Piper was in like one in every six packs or something like really? that. So if you're if you're drafting this and you're like, wow, I want to play black green zombies for some reason, but um, I don't have a commander to do that with, you choose this and uh, buy another six partner. packs of Commander Legends. You could get it. The odds are in your favor. <laughs> it's a common. It's going to be like 15 cents. I don't think anyone's going to buy six packs just to get a 15 cent card. It's all about the hunt, Mike. Yeah, all right. All right so. Let's scoop these up here. All right. Breeze through commons till we get to... Oh, Commander Sphere. That's nice. Nice. Okay. Null Collar. Explosion of Riches. Oh, nice. A Reclamation Sage. And a Hull Breacher. That's one we were looking for. Two and a blue for a 3 2 Merfolk Pirate. It has Flash. If an opponent would draw a card, except the first one they draw on each of their draw steps, instead you create a treasure token. Love that. That's kind of like Notion Thief. Oh, yeah. Notion Thief does the same thing, except instead of creating treasure tokens, you draw those cards instead. So I like that a lot. That's awesome. All right, that's Hall Breacher. Cut out the middleman. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, next we have Iktekik. I think that's how you say it. Iktekik Salvage Splicer as a legendary. We have a rare Zara Renegade Recruiter for three, a blue and a red, for three human pirate with flying. When it attacks, look at defending player's hand. That's cool. You may put a creature card from it onto the battlefield under your control, tapped and attacking that player. Ooh, or a Planeswalker they control. Return that creature to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next end step. I like that a lot. So I get to take That's something really cool. from your hand and use it against you. Nice. And then a foil confiscate. This one does look a little dark to me. Yeah. Yeah? It does. That's all right. That's okay. I'll take a foil any day. Still does and the same thing. Exactly. And a golem token. All right. Let me crack Clean this while here. you're cleaning up. Alrighty, some commons, more commons. There's another core cartographer. Nice. Haven't seen any zero drops yet. Any of the Rogok? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I want to get a foil of that one. We have Supreme Will. Nice. We have Confiscate. We have Kuambage, which oh, is. Oh, cool. Um, we have Don Glade Regent, is our rare. It's an elk. Cool. Elena Kessig oh, to Trapper. go with um, Halana. Is that the, what the other one's called? Uh, you just pulled it. Oh, and it says it in the flavor text, Halana. Yes. Okay. Awesome. And <laughs> partner. Great. Uh, Slurk, all ingesting. Ooze. And then a foil, Avon Surveyor. Very cool. I'd like to read Dawn Glade Regent. It's sure. five and two green. When it enters, you become the monarch. And as long as you're the monarch, permanents you control have hexproof. That's sweet. Mm, that it's an 8-8 cool. elk. An 8-8 elk that gives you the monarch and makes your stuff hexproof for 7 mana. Man, talk about power creep. Are you disappointed that you made your Marchesa deck before this set came out? No, because I took it would apart. You have, would you have made it differently? <laughs> I don't these cards I, were... I think it'd be pretty hard to build a deck around being the monarch. Okay. Because it seems to... Um, it's not flexible enough. Like you have to be the monarch, and it's so easy for someone to take it from, take you, it from you. Unless I explore all options, like have a ton of removal, a lot of flyers, so that people can't get through to me. Right. Um, it just pariah. Pariah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. I would have to think really hard about how I'd want to build Marchesa again. Right. All right. Here we go. Speeding through until we find. Our uncommons. All right. 
uncommon number one burning anger skilled animator thought vessel we love thought vessel and jeweled lotus there baby. she is there she <laughs> is wow not too foiled though but that's okay uh, that's fine with me <laughs> That's unless unless amazing. the foil is also it. What an amazing pack that would be. All right, we'll take a closer look at that later. All right, let's put keep that going. aside. All right, then we have Brynalyn, the Moon Kraken. Here he is, Rogrok, son of Roga. Zero, zero drop. drop. Two zero what drops. A pack. Two zero drops in this pack. My two favorite cards in the set. And then a foil, Nadir's Nightblade. Wow. Good pack. I love that pack. It seems like in this pack, I'm building um, some red blue stuff going on here. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Psyched about that, guys. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, Jeweled Lotus, can I leave it here? Sure. Just because it looks so nice. Cool. All right, Nick, go ahead. Is that box winding down over there? That's, yeah. That's... You have the, the packs that are left. We have six packs left. That's so sad. I know. Well, this one only has 24 packs. Right, because they're usually fat have 32. Packs. Yeah, they're wicked fat packs. Yeah, they are. Alrighty. Commons, commons. Can you do the common dance? I don't know what the common dance is. All right, I'm done anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have Meteor, Meteoric Mace, Guildless Commons, actually an uncommon, Sandstone <laughs> Oracle, and our rare is Plague Reaver. We have Hamza, Guardian of Arishin. We have Livio, Orth Oath Sworn Sentinel. Nice. And a foil Sky Whalers shot. Great. And can you guess what the last card is? <laughs> a Prismatic Piper. Cool. Let me take a look at some of these. So some Plague Reaver. Stuff. Ooh, Plague Reaver is two and a black for a 6-5 beast. The beginning of your end step, sacrifice each other creature you control. Then you can dis two, discard two cards and sacrifice Plague Reaver. Choose target opponent. Return Plague Reaver to the battlefield under that player's control at the beginning of their, their next upkeep. That's pretty cool. Can we make that a thing? What? Instead of saying discard, we say dis. <laughs> Can we dis two cards? <laughs> Sorry about my mistake there. That's okay. I'll never let you live it down now. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just loving this jeweled lotus here. Yeah. Why don't you throw that bad boy in a sleeve? Yeah. That's why I got that's this box brought over him. here. Leave it up. Leave it up. So then later when you sell it on eBay, you can say immediately, immediately sleeved. I don't know. I might put this in my Gitrog deck and make it oh, that really? much more competitive. Yeah. Interesting. Then remind me to never invite you over for magic. Actually, that'd be pretty bad with Gitrog because I'd get him out and have two lands and have to sacrifice those lands each turn. I'd oh, end up with yeah. no, no lands left. All right. So we have Vow of Flight, Kanji's Lieutenant. Guilt Leaf Winnower. Stop looking at my hand for... It, I want to see what's coming next. Well, you'll see when I put it okay. down. War Room is our rare. Oh, nice. Alharu Solemn Ritualist. And then we have Breaches Brazen Plunderer. Cool. And this looks cool. Oh, Fertilid. Nice. Foil Fertilid. That's pretty sweet looking. Man, I'm telling you, these foils look awesome. They really like picked the part of the art that they want to foil and like really filled that in with the foiling. It looks beautiful. I believe I just opened two packs in a row. Yeah, you did, because I have three left. I skipped you. Uh, War Room is a land that taps to add colorless and it says pay three and tap, pay life equal to the number of colors in your commander's color identity and draw a card. So you pay three life, potentially one, two, three, four, five, or three mana, one, two, three, four, five life, and tap this to draw one card. Hmm. Interesting. Seems like that would go in something that desperately needs card draw, like a Boros deck. Right. But I don't know if I'd be putting that in my blue decks. Right. All right, I'll open two in a row then. Okay. Sounds good to me. All right. A non-foil Fertilid doesn't look as nice. And here we go. All right. Open the Armory, which is a sweet card. Nadir's Nightblade, Hunter's Insight, and Sweet Gum Recluse. It has Flash and Cascade and Reach. 
When it enters the battlefield, put three plus one plus one counters on each of any number of target creatures that enter the battlefield this turn. So if you cascade into another creature, that also gets the plus one plus one counters. Very nice. nice. Quain, itinerant meddler. Uh, white and a blue for a 1-3 rabbit wizard. That's cool. Each player may draw a card. You tap it, each player may draw a card. Then each player who drew a card this way gains one life. Pretty sweet. Oh, a three rare pack. I love that. Nice. Here's my uh, salamander commander. Oh, that's oh, yeah. fun to say. Salamander commander. Maybe I'll build it just for that reason. Gore Muldrak Amphenologist. A legendary human scout that's a 3-2. You and permanents you control have protection from salamanders. At the beginning of your end step, each player who controls the fewest creatures creates a 4-3 blue salamander warrior creature token. All right, pretty cool. Nice. And Scab Goliath is our rare with That's a copy a, token. Looks pretty dark. Yeah, seriously. Some of these foils wow. look awesome. Some of these foils look well, a little skimpy. Even though that's dark, I think it still looks pretty sweet. Yeah. I don't know why, it just... Maybe that's the point of the card, is for it to be dark. But Maybe. even the text box looks dark to me. Yeah. I, I mean, this kind of looks like um, after you get your... The kids won't know what we're talking about, but after you get your film developed at the drugstore, <laughs> you look at the negatives, that's what that looks yeah, like. Yeah, something like that. All right, you have. I'll uh, do another two one. More. What do we got? Man, I'd like to see another mythic in one of these three last packs. Foiled soul ring is what you're waiting for. Yeah, right? Seriously. Or a soul ring. Oh, <laughs> I haven't true. pulled one of those in a pack yet. All right, we have Gollum Artisan, Fathom Fleet Sword Jack, Merchant Raiders, and Soul of Eternity, five and two white. Its power and toughness are equal to your life total. That's pretty cool. And it has Encore for nine. Wow. Thanks. Encore for nine. All right, Gilarna, Caller of Wild Wirewood, another elf. Pretty cool. Hans Erikson, that's sweet art. Yeah. That's, That's sweet, sweet art. Whenever Hans Eriksson attacks, reveal the top card of your library. If it's a creature card, put it onto the battlefield tapped an attacking defending player or a planeswalker they control. Otherwise, put that card into your hand. When you put a creature card onto the battlefield this way, it fights Hans Eriksson. Interesting. That looks like a secret lair Hagrid. <laughs> <laughs> secret lair Harry Potter. This is going to get printed. Hagrid, in. yeah. I love it. All right, cool. And then an eye blight colors. Another... Elf printed in black. Nice. We love it. All right, and a zombie token. All right, so Mike. Yeah. What do we have here? We have two packs left. Yep, one each. Each of us have a pack. So I don't know if you remember, but there was a probably a good three-month period where you and I, we'd go to Bull Moose and we'd buy a pack, and every time we bought a pack, we'd throw it on the floor for good luck. <laughs> do you yeah, remember that? I do. Should we do it? Yeah. Okay, right here. You first. Hopefully I didn't bend any of my cards. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> now these, time. these are... Uh, yeah. All right. Okay. Same time. Let's end this on a good note. And you saw we threw it on the floor. Superstition. Here we go. Ooh. So you got your pack open way before me, so that you must I be the better stuff. player. <laughs> All right. Skip the commons. We'll go back and forth here. All right. My what do you first got? uncommon is Siren Storm Tamer. I have Mindless Automate, Omat Automaton. Automaton. <laughs> there you go. Excuse me. All right, Hero's Blade. Strength of the Pack. Feast of Succession. Frenzied Saddle Brute. My rare is a Training Center, which is the fourth out of the five lands <laughs> that we could possibly get. So I got to say I'm glad that we threw this on the ground Why? because I got a Horizon Star. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Cool. If you would lose unspent mana, that mana becomes colorless. It's instead. the crucifix of Art artifacts. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. My first legendary is Dargo the Shipwrecker. Okay. I have Captain Vargas Wrath. Very cool. You better look out for Dargo over yeah, there. Yeah, he's a giant pirate, a 7 5. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have Siani, Eye of the Storm. I have Nimrus, Una's Trickster. Cool. And a Portent of Betrayal. And then a foil Jalum Tome. Wow. And an angel token. All right. So you know what I noticed? What's that? There's no lands. Oh, yeah. Right? I didn't see any. Why not? Well, other than, you know, real lands. Well, yeah, yeah. Rare lands. And 
those printed in the set, but no basics. So I guess if you're planning to draft this, bring your own basics. Bring lands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, I would have been very upset if I showed up to someone's house with this box ready to draft. Right. We would have been writing mountain on playing cards and <laughs> sleeving them up. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at this Jeweled Lotus one more time. Beautiful. You all know what it looks like. Amazing. Um, best part of the box was seeing that after my, after my yeah. own comments. <laughs> Very cool. Let us know um, how your pulls have been from this set. Uh, who's your favorite new legendary? I think there's like 77 legendaries or something. So many to pick from, and we pulled almost all of them, except for, seems like, the good ones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway, thanks so much for watching. Check out our podcast. We'll put some other pack opening videos up soon, and we hope to see you there. Before we go, make sure to check out our website, themanadorksmtg.com, where you can find everything that we have, mm -hmm. everything that we own. Uh, you can also go on there and you can click on the little message bubble at the bottom. Send us a, send us a common good. Anything you want, anything at all. I'm looking for so many common goods. I want to rack up enough to fill up the next eight. To we don't want to have to research common goods for the rest of this year, at least. All right, send them our way, and maybe you'll be featured on an episode. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm. Let's go.